to the family, but and crazy, crazy Eddie was joking because he used to be a cop in New York. He's like, yeah, you get them down right here, and then you take their wallet because they're a drug dealer and they don't need that either. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's funny, dude. I don't know why I had to tell that story. Anyway, all right, so now we're going to deal with somebody that probably knows a little bit more and is not trying to headlock you from the side. They've got side control on you. Horrible. Uncle Jeff talks about starting from this dead position. We would never want to do this. As soon as we figure out where you're being passed, we want to get to our side and build frames. But for the sake of training, we're going to start off in a horrible, horrible position. I'm going to grab the shoulder and I am going to blast off of my feet as I turn to my shoulder into his hip, getting frames. Close shave on the head, get up under the neck, policing that hip, policing that neck, getting as much space as we possibly can. From there, I'm going to, again, move my feet away from his hip. Turn this way, will he see? So they can see this. I'm getting my feet away from his hips, and I'm blasting with another bridge. Boom! That way I can beat his descent and get me a wedge and shield in there. I put a seat belt on him. I'm taking what I've got nice control of his arm. From there, I can blast off and get my guard back. Notice I'm always controlling hands, controlling head, controlling posture as much as I can. Everybody good with that? Sure. Get out, go. 